okay dear teachers today in today's uh, video i am going to show you the parameters on which any principal do the observation of the classes so whenever you will get the notice that principal is going to attend uh, to observe your class then you have to be careful about these parameters first one is clean class clean lineness so class should be very clean basically this is related with the class teacher who ever may be the class teacher he or she should keep the class very clean all the benches should be very clean floor should be very clean walls should be very clean student clean lineness this also related to the class teacher it is the duty of the class teacher to observe the students they are either they are maintaining the clean lineness or not how they are wearing the uniform are they are in the uniform or not or the uniform is proper or not clean or not their nails hairs their shoes belt everything that comes under student clean lineness then appearance of a teacher how the teacher looks this is also very much important in today's teaching field although if there is a teacher to whom all the students love too much they like him or her very much so for such a, a teacher this will become not very much important appearance of teacher either he is very good appearing or not either in a good cloth or good dress or not how is his hairs hair style nothing will matter if the students like that teacher very much but normally uh, any one for one or two teachers only the students will like that much but for almost all the teachers we need to keep our appearance in a good or pleasant way for that what is the natural good appearance that natural appearance we cannot change but by by proper hearing combing the hairs then dress uniform clean lineness and some looks you must look to be some energetic so that comes under the appearance of teacher then sound so there are three fundamental rights of any student one is there should not be too hot or too cold in the classroom so maintaining the proper temperature in the classroom this is the responsibility of the school and that is the fundamental right of the student that when he is sitting in the class he should feel comfortable not uncomfortable very hot very cold then the child will not comfortable he cannot focus on the studies and second thing is second right of the child of the student is the sound of the teacher must be clear and audible this is the right of the student the sound of the teacher must be very clear every word should be listen should be able the child should be able to listen every word very clearly and audible up to the last page audible up to the last page this is the second right of the uh, student third one is there should be proper illumination in the classroom if there is no proper light the student cannot focus on the board so this is the responsibility of the school to maintain the proper illumination ventilation illumination in the class so that whatever the teacher will write it should be very visible next is handwriting handwriting of the teacher it does not means that your handwriting should be very super very special no need 
but whatever you are writing the alphabet should not be too small that the student not able to see clearly and it should not be too big the size should be such that the all the student from right from first bench to the last bench all the student should be able to uh, read that one and each and every alphabet should be clear how it is written in the books in the like the same way oh you are writing very good handwriting but cursive and then very stylish handwriting but a child cannot listen cannot uh, read it then that is not a good handwriting in the teaching you will get a negative mark there that handwriting may be very good when you are writing in the certificates in the awards in the invitations but in the teaching it will not be acceptable if the students cannot read it properly and if your handwriting is very normal very simple but the students are very easily they can read it then that handwriting is more better that is wanted here then subject knowledge so subject knowledge you should be very sound strong in your subject knowledge everything whatever you are going to teach must be very clear first of all for you and you should have the updated knowledge so subject knowledge and then teaching skill there is no specific yard to measure the teaching skill of the teacher there was some conference on best uh, what is the to decide what is the best teaching skill then after listening from all the experts finally it is decided that there is no any skill which can be called as a best skill for the teaching so the skill whatever by the teacher teach whatever skill he uses if the students are able to understand it if the students are able to follow it that is the best skill that is the best skill so that style may be different for different levels of the students for different categories of the students from village coming from village from the districts from the uh, um, big big cities indian foreigners that may be different so whatever the teacher is teaching and such that his students to whom he is teaching if the students are easily understanding and following then that is the best teaching skill the next is class control that is the most important thing class control there should not be noise in the class students should be active they are observing your class they are listening to you they are not doing their own work they are not watching the videos and they are not fighting and, and they are seeing here and there and disturbance noise fighting in that environment in that noise in that bad environment teaching is not possible teaching needs silence in the class so how you are controlling the class that is very much important and that is again depends on your own style i observed teachers few teachers i don't know what they do but when they they are in the class the students are maintaining pin drop silence they are not phd holders and they are not 10 20 and 30 year experienced teachers but they are they are their interaction with the student is such that there is a there will be pin drop in the silence but there may be many teachers who are very good in teaching who are having very strong knowledge maybe phd holders be a master degrees but when they go to the class the students make noises in the class they disturb it so so how to control that you teacher need to be think how to control the class some basic uh, few ideas tips i can give that may be not the 100% solution for that but it may possible few students can be controlled by that way you 
give works to them you ask questions to them when you will be asking frequently questions to them you will giving them writing works you will giving them to memorize the things then they will be get some busy in the class and they, there will be some less noise anyway you have to apply some techniques to control the class the principal will observe how you are controlling the class and to control the class your eye should be observing each and every student you should not be teaching by observing few students only all the entire class you are focusing on the few students and you are not seeing what others are doing so that is the negative point the ninth is environment involvement of the students you the you have to involve students in your teaching So, so this you can achieve by asking students to do some activities, asking students some questions they are answering to you. So in that way, try to get involved, give them some things to memorize and then listen from them. So in any way, you have to involve the students. Students should not be sleeping in your class or not. attend are not listening to you just they are listening to you there is a difference between listening and uh, listening and uh, hearing and listening so your student should be listening to you then teaching ads and multimedia nowadays uh, it is not enough that how good you are teaching you have to use the teaching ads and multimedia like videos and then you using the projectors videos so visualization of the teaching is today's trend and today's demand whatever is just talk and talk it is not enough for today's students they want to see everything practically practically they want to see they want to see in the video form just see like earlier days in the olden days children we are sitting with the grandmother and grandmother is telling the stories and they are listening with so much interest and one hour two hour three hours and then also grandma will tell go see sleep but they will tell no you tell again more stories but nowadays if you catch any student in a child and you start telling them stories one minute they will also not listen that story they will get bored and they will they will want to run away from you and on the other hand the same story if you give them in mobile then 2 hours 3 hours 4 hours also they will be watching those stories because here they are same story they are seeing in the form of video so that is creating interest for them so today the students want to see visualization of the topics in the form of videos so try to use more and more multimedia time management whatever the time you are having then in the say in that given time you have to start your class introduction of the class then movement of your topic completing the topic then recapitulation whatever you taught you have to recapitulate at the end so all these things should be start in time and end in time you should not take time of other uh, teachers time management and then lastly and then 12th one is creativity so now creativity in your teaching there should be creativity you should not give a donkey work like a donkey work to the students you should make them able so that they can perform in a smart way just your student should become the smart not just like doing the donkey work few examples i will give you i observe one teacher she gave the students to memorize the tables up to 20 some teachers will give to memorize the tables up to 30 some will give up to 40 this is a donkey work only actually the table up to 10 hardly hardly 11 or 12 that is more than enough 10 is enough but 11 and 12 it is more than enough 
don't give students to memorize mug up the tables more than 12 that is a donkey work 13 14 15 16 all these uh, tables 13 ones are 13 twos are 13 six are 14 16 30 34 you train them how to make the tables just by multiplication they if they by multiplication they can write the table of even 260 also 261 are 262 are 263 are also they can make the tables so today's world today's students government is also trying to make this one smart reduce their work not only the bad their work also they want to reduce syllabus even they want to reduce so make them smart this is a creativity just up to 12 last enough and then you show them how to make the tables the squares some some teachers they are asking the students to memorize the square of 12 the square of 13 the square of up to 20 squares up to 20 what does it mean you are just giving a donkey work to them tables up to 12 up to 10 is also enough uh, squares up to 10 is also enough 10 square 100 9 square 81 12 is 12 11 and 12 also not needed child can make 11 and 12 by multiplication 12 into 12 12 square means 12 into 12 by multiplication 13 square 13 into 30 they can multiply and they can get the table so in future even that teacher will when teacher will also do 17 square she will multiply only but for the student she is asking to memorize up to 20 and 30 and 40 so this is out of this uh, uh, way so creativity is you make the student smart in doing the work and then the students notebooks how the students are maintaining the notebook to see that one cue the work check the classwork check the notebooks this is and see does they are properly maintaining or not this is also the responsibility of the teacher so when the principal comes in the class so he just note down all the 313 on this 13 parameter they will give the teacher the grade or their uh, performance analysis of the teacher's performance is based on these 13 parameters